my little cat. Julia had always been a city girl. Tall buildings, noisy streets, and the hustle and bustle of urban life were all she knew. That was until her parents decided to move to the countryside for a fresh start. This transition wasn't easy for Julia, the quietness felt unfamiliar, and the vast open spaces seemed endless. One evening, as Julia was reading a book in her new room, she heard a soft, persistent meowing outside her window. Curious, she opened it and found a small, gray kitten with bright green eyes looking up at her. The kitten looked frail, and its fur was tangled. Oh, poor thing, Julia whispered, lifting the kitten into her room. She found some milk in the kitchen and fed the hungry little creature. The kitten drank eagerly and then curled up on Julia's lap, purring contentedly. Julia decided to call her Misty because of her grey fur. Every day after school, Julia would play with Misty in the garden, chasing butterflies and climbing trees. They shared secrets, and Misty's purring became Julia's favorite lullaby. One day, while exploring the woods behind their house, Julia and Misty stumbled upon an old treehouse. It looked like it hadn't been used for years. With some cleaning and a few decorations, Julia transformed it into a secret hideout for her and Misty. They would spend hours there, reading stories, drawing, or simply watching the sunset. The bond between Julia and Misty grew stronger each day. Julia realized that though she missed the city, the countryside had given her an irreplaceable friend. She also noticed that she began to appreciate the chirping of the birds, the scent of fr fresh flowers, and the clear starry nights more than she ever did. One winter morning, Julia woke up to find Misty missing. She searched everywhere but couldn't find her. Worried, Julia remembered the old treehouse and decided to check there. Climbing up, she found Misty snuggled with three tiny kittens. Misty had become a mother. The treehouse became even livelier with the kittens' playful antics. Julia's family, seeing her happiness, decided to adopt all of them. The once lonely countryside house was now filled with laughter, joy, and the playful pouncing of four little cats. Secret love. In the small town of Brookside, everyone knew everyone else. It was a place where secrets were hard to keep, but Anna had one. She was secretly in love with her best friend, Jake. Anna and Jake had been friends since they were children. They shared everything, from secrets to dreams. But as they grew older, Anna's feelings for Jake changed. Every smile, every laugh, and every moment they shared made her heart flutter. She often caught herself daydreaming about telling him, but fear always held her back. What if he doesn't feel the same? She wondered. Jake, on the other hand, was popular in school, especially among the girls. He was charming, funny, and kind. Anna often saw him surrounded by his admirers, which made her feel even more hesitant to confess. One evening, they met at their favorite spot, a quiet bench overlooking the river. The golden hues of the setting sun reflected in the water, creating a serene ambience. Anna, Jake began, looking unusually nervous, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Anna's heart raced. She thought maybe he'd found out about her feelings and was about to address them. Before Jake could continue, Anna interrupted, Jake, I need to say something first. She took a deep breath, I think I have feelings for you. More than just a friend. Jake looked stunned. After a moment of silence, he chuckled, looks like we had the same secret. He admi admitted that he too had developed feelings for her but was scared of ruining their friendship. The two sat on the bench, their hands slowly finding each other. The fear of rejection that had kept them silent had vanished. It was the beginning of a new chapter in their relationship. The Brookside town was soon buzzing with the news of Anna and Jake. Their love story became legendary, showing that sometimes the most beautiful relationships grow from deep friendships. New school. Lucas was both excited and nervous. His family had moved to a new town, which meant starting at a new school. The thought of making new friends, adapting to a new environment, and leaving his old life behind was overwhelming. 
On his first day, he wore his favorite blue shirt, hoping it would be a good luck charm. The school was bigger than his previous one, with more students and classrooms. Lucas felt like a small fish in a big pond. At lunchtime, Lucas sat alone at an empty table, scanning the cafeteria for familiar faces. But everyone seemed to be in their groups, laughing and chatting. He missed his old friends and the comfort of knowing everyone. Just when he was feeling his loneliest, a girl with bright red hair and a friendly smile approached him. Hey! You're the new kid, right? I'm Zoe, she introduced herself. Lucas smiled, feeling a bit relieved. I'm Lucas. Nice to meet you. Zoe, being the president of the school's welcome committee, took it upon herself to introduce Lucas to the school. She showed him around, pointing out the library, the gym, and the art room, where students were busy painting colorful murals. As the days passed, Lucas and Zoe became good friends. She introduced him to her group, and slowly Lucas began to feel like he belonged. He joined the school's soccer team and the drama club, discovering new talents and interests he never knew he had. One day, as Lucas was walking to his class, he saw another new student looking lost. Remembering his own first day, Lucas approached him and said, Hey, hey, you seem new here. Need some help finding your way. The student smiled gratefully, Yeah, I just transferred. I'm Ethan. Lucas showed Ethan around, just as Zoe had done for him. It felt good to pay forward the kindness he had received. Months turned into years, and the once new and daunting school became a place filled with cherished memories for Lucas. He realized that every beginning has its challenges, but with the right attitude and a little help from friends, any change can become a beautiful journey. In the amusement park. Amelia had always dreamed of visiting the famous Starshine amusement park. Its towering roller coasters and glittering ferris wheel were talked about in every corner of the country. And this summer, her dream was about to come true. Together with her cousin, Oliver, Amelia entered the park, and a world of wonder unfolded before their eyes. The air was filled with laughter and the sweet scent of cotton candy. Colorful stalls lined the pathways, offering games of skill and chance. Their first stop was the Skyrocket, the tallest roller coaster in the park. Oliver, always the brave one, was eager to try it but Amelia hesitated. She felt a mix of excitement and fear, her heart racing. You can do it, Oliver encouraged, sensing her apprehension. Taking a deep breath, Amelia agreed, and they got in line. As the roller coaster climbed, she gripped the safety bar tightly, her knuckles turning white. But as it plunged and twisted, her fear transformed into exhilaration. By the ride's end, she was laughing with joy feeling a sense of accomplishment. Next, they tried the haunted house, where spooky figures and sudden sounds made them jump and scream. They laughed at each other's reactions and enjoyed the thrill of being scared in a safe environment. As the day turned into evening, the park lit up with thousands of twinkling lights. The two cousins decided to take a ride on the Ferris wheel. Sitting at the top, they had a panoramic view of the entire park and the city beyond. The world seemed magical from that height. At the end of the day, tired but happy, Amelia and Oliver sat on a bench, enjoying ice cream. They talked about their favorite rides and the memories they had created. That was the best day ever. Amelia exclaimed, her earlier fears forgotten. Oliver nodded in agreement, every adventure is more fun when shared with someone. As they left the park, the glittering entrance sign read, see you soon. Both knew they would definitely be back, eager for more adventures and memories.